over a year and a half since we've seen a Starship prototype from SpaceX fly, and the first flight of the full stack of the vehicle paired with a super heavy first stage booster has been perpetually pushed back during that time. Now, company founder Elon Musk has another update on when we might see Starship make its first flight to space. Musk, who also currently helms Tesla and Twitter, said via the social media platform on Saturday that he's hopeful the first orbital flight of Starship could happen as soon as next next month. We have a real shot at late February. March launch attempt appears highly likely, he wrote. SpaceX launched a series of Starship high altitude flights in 2020 and 2021 that saw a three-engine version of the spacecraft fly to the stratosphere and come back for a series of landing attempts that all ended in explosions, except for the final successful attempt on May 5th of 2021. Shortly afterward, SpaceX announced that it would switch gears to begin producing more Raptor engines, testing Super Heavy booster prototypes, and preparing for the first orbital launch of Starship. The plan is for Starship to blast off from the company's Starbase facility in Texas atop Super Heavy, which will return for a landing on a platform in the Gulf of Mexico after separation while the Starship vehicle continues on for a quick trip to orbit, followed by a splashdown landing in the Pacific Ocean off the coast of Hawaii. The flight plan has been stymied by a number of delays largely tied to the process of getting a launch license from the Federal Aviation Administration. The company's application first had to go through an environmental review process that lasted several months, concluding with the agency allowing the mission to go forward, but requiring SpaceX to make dozens of modifications to its launch plan. The company still hasn't secured its permit to launch from the FAA as it works through the required changes while simultaneously continuing to manufacture and test Raptor engines engines and get Super Heavy ready for its first launch. The next Starship flight has been just a month or two away, going back to June of 2022 when the FAA announced its decision, and this latest update continues that pattern. SpaceX isn't the only party with an interest in seeing Starship fly again. NASA has selected it to be one of the vehicles it flies to the moon as part of the Artemis program aiming at returning astronauts to the lunar surface this decade. Now for a piece of good news, Super Heavy Booster 7 just rolled back to SpaceX's Boca Chica launch site a few hours ago. With it, we see 33 Raptor 2 engines, and engine shields are installed. It looks complete. Is it the final departure from the production site until they are pushing Booster 7 and Ship 24 uphill? It's quite the fragile hope that we have. But last weekend, we got a post regarding amended order closing Boca Chica Beach and State Highway 4. Specifically, Cameron County Judge Eddie Trevino Jr has ordered the temporary closure of access to Boca Chica Beach as well as State Highway 4 from FM 1419 to the entrance of Boca Chica Beach due to anticipated test launch activities for SpaceX. I have amended the ordered closure of Boca Chica Beach and Highway 4 for the purpose of protecting public health and safety during SpaceX non-flight testing activities on January 9th of 2023. In the time period between 2 a.m. CST to 5 p.m. CST, in place of 8 a.m. CST to 8 p.m., Trevino stated. That means SpaceX will have a test window lasting up to 15 hours, which is almost certainly one major step closer to Starship's first orbital flight. And according to many guesses, after SpaceX returns the rocket to the launch pad, they will put Ship 24 on top of B-7. Once fully stacked, Booster 7 and Ship 24 may attempt Starship's first full-stack wet dress rehearsal once all is in order. The prototypes will be simultaneously loaded with around 5,000 tons of liquid oxygen and methane propellant, and then run through a launch countdown. Diverging just before ignition and liftoff, a WDR is meant to be more or less identical to a launch attempt. Assuming WDR testing is completed without major issues, SpaceX will likely attempt at least one or more interim static fires with fewer than 33 engines before attempting the first full test. If both milestones are completed without significant issues, there's a chance that SpaceX could move directly into preparations for Starship's first orbital launch attempt without unstacking the rocket. In the likelier scenario that some issues arise and some repairs are required, the path to the maiden launch will be more circuitous. While SpaceX readies for the first Starship orbital flight test from the Starbase complex in South Texas, work over at Kennedy Space Center is focused on building an operational launch base for future Starship missions. Aside from the new tower, 
power and the chopstick arm system, SpaceX is installing new ground storage tanks for propellants, a water deluge sound suppression system, and a circular launch mount that the Super Heavy booster will sit on before liftoff. Pedestals for the launch mount are in place at Pad 39A, but SpaceX has not moved the mount itself over to the launch pad from its off-site fabrication facility. Eventually, SpaceX plans to construct a factory at Kennedy for Super Heavy boosters and Starship vehicles, which are currently exclusively built in Texas. The work to prepare for future Starship launches is occurring amid a busy cadence of launches of SpaceX's Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy rockets at the Florida spaceport. The Starship launch site sits just a thousand feet or 300 meters from the Falcon launch pad at Launch Complex 39A. In addition, SpaceX is set to kick off a busy week of launch preparations at Kennedy Space Center for the first of five planned Falcon Heavy rocket missions this year targeting a dusk departure no earlier than Thursday evening from Launch Complex 39A on a flight for the U.S. Space Force. The mission for the Space Force, designated USS F-67, will deploy two military spacecraft into a high-altitude geosynchronous orbit more than 22,000 miles, which is nearly 36,000 kilometers, over the equator. It'll be the fifth flight of a Falcon Heavy rocket, which is one of the most powerful launchers in the world, and the first of five Falcon Heavy missions on space SpaceX's schedule for 2023. Technicians inside SpaceX's rocket integration hangar near Pad 39A have made it the three booster cores for the Falcon Heavy, and the transporter erector needed to carry the rocket to the pad rolled into the hangar Saturday. Ground teams plan to lower the Falcon Heavy onto the transporter erector and roll it to the launch pad in preparation for a test firing of its 27 Merlin main engines early in the week. The Falcon Heavy will roll back inside the hangar after the engine test firing to receive receive its payload compartment, containing two Space Force satellites encapsulated inside the rocket's nose cone. Then, SpaceX will roll the fully assembled launcher back to Pad 39A and raise it vertical for final countdown preparations. The launch is scheduled for no earlier than Thursday, during a launch period, running from 5pm to 10pm Eastern. The exact launch time will be revealed closer to the launch date, but liftoff is expected to occur around 6pm Eastern, shortly after sunset on Florida's Space Coast. This has been Kevin with Great SpaceX, and if you enjoy what my team and I are doing, you can become a patron through our Patreon link in the description below. Otherwise, my team and I will see you next time.